Hi, everybody. Good day. Thanks for joining America Break Your Silence. Today's topic is about laws, laws that we must fight for, laws to empower our country. Guys, you know, I'm talking out of experience and I'm going to go ahead and fill you in with what we are learning about even New York City. More than 20 million contractors, guys, have yet to be paid or have outstanding balances owed. So this one law that is must be passed is that if you are a GC or owner, the owner has to pay $300 or $250 to the city for the advocacy group, okay? And that's like no different than it's added on to your permit, to pull a permit, Okay, the same said for the GC that's hiring subcontractors. Guys, I'm a woman contractor. I have, yes, I've experienced a lot lot more than most because I've had my exes trying to make me look like a prostitute, posting me on sites, trying to put, make it actually appear that really was a prostitute. Um, I've had uh, false allegations flung at me trying to destroy my business. They've actually made it their mission all day long instead of focusing on something positive and helping the world they're focusing on destroying me a mother of nine who supports seven children so they've contacted my clients they kept contacted ksr to make false allegations character assassination is a crime and we are fighting right now to get these people put in prison because if you know, walking around hurting anybody is a is is injustice that has to be overturned um, because people cannot be walking around their whole life being victimized by people, and if people get away with it, more people continue to do it, and the the saga goes on and on, and people should not suffer in silence. That's why here at America Break Your Silence, we are breaking our silence. We're asking everybody to come forth, tell your stories, tell us what you've gone through. We want to hear from you. Uh, Show us the the evidence uh, or give us the information. We can get the evidence, but we must break our silence, guys. So uh, the advocacy group, what it would do is make sure somebody's not being wrongfully fired or being placed on internet sites uh, and being lied on. Uh, this is a crime. Cyberbullying and uh, slinging false allegations. And, and for me, you know, of course, I had exes paying people off. This is a crime. And aggravated stalking is a crime. Aggravated harassment is a crime. Punishable by prison. Um, We must break our silence. We must pass laws that protect our communities. Because if that business goes out of business and now they're on the tax bracket of receiving money back or maybe they're just in poverty, they're on welfare. I mean, we hurt these owners that are greedy. We've got corporations out that are making billions and billions of dollars. Meanwhile, they're not even paying their people enough to pay rent. Rent costs are keep going up while our, our, our people are just suffering. Uh, you know, uh, if, if a guy calls you and said, hey, I'm only a 50 a day or I'm only a 100 a day and you fall for that, you are, in my opinion, a criminal because slavery was abolished years ago. And you know you couldn't survive on that. Why are you having somebody working in hot heat or cold and they're not even getting adequately paid? Minimum wage is not paying people's rent. It's not getting people off of welfare. How are you, a Fortune 500 company, billion-dollar company, not paying your employees properly? Properly. Uh, or you're an owner and you wrongfully fire your contractor and have your contractor the hangman. In my case, I have all these children going homeless because of this nonsense and this abuse. We must have agencies that are advocates for the people and they're a middleman and they cannot be paid off. And that it's a crime. You go to prison if you get paid off. And we need to have, you know, uh, investigators that make sure that people are dotting their I's and crossing their T's and there's no funny business going on. 
Okay, and that's one. Then we got landlords. Landlords, ha- there is so many women and men that's been victimized for decades. They've got exes out there who want to keep their agenda going. And they're so all about power and control because they're sick in the head. And they contact the landlords. They character assassinate the person. And then they get the landlords to kick them out and their children out in the streets and without deposits. And so we need a advocacy group. If you rent out your home, it you have to pay into a what's called the permit fee. That advocacy group goes in they look to see if the condition of the property it's all notated the the tenant gets the copy the landlord gets the copy and the same said when the tenant moves out it they come in they look at it and all the writing goes up and it is an official filing and it's no more garbage millions and millions of owners today are taking advantage and stealing from the little guy I mean, we've got even developers out there that are pushing up the market so bad that the prices are being inflated on properties. And people just, it, it's like we're shooting out of the market. We got people suffering that can't even purchase this. Or, hey, they want to sell their property and they can't get what they bought for it. You know? I mean, when does it stop? Guys, I've addressed, I've put all of our laws attached to this. If you read below, um, we must, we must break our silence. We must pass laws. We must end bullying. We must end abuse. And we must stand up. We need advocacy groups, guys. And we need child support laws. I mean, for me, you know, we've got guys out there and instead of, paying child support they bully the mother every time she files or like i said contacting landlords making the woman homeless so then they're hoping that that case gets thrown out because she has no place to live or she's going into another state whatever the situation is these guys are not paying child support and they want to pay whatever they want to pay and they if a woman's been a uh, a victim of domestic violence, the domestic violence continues and nobody's looking at income. It should be straightforward. Okay, this is, this is your income. This is what banks are saying, uh, because it goes on. If you have in your account, you know, more than $10,000, then it should be automatically noted and on child support, I mean, of course, we got some guys out there, and what do they do? They go and they're uh, working under the table. So then they take their checks to the cash uh, check cashing, and there's no uh, social security that's put into the system. That wait a minute, this individual owes back child support, and if you cash this guy's end of uh, checks, that you go into this check cashing system, and it reads. Oh, wait a minute. This person hasn't paid child support and goodness knows because this is what these men are doing. I mean, we've got children out here that are suffering. I don't understand how parents can just walk out of their children's lives and not want them to have the greatest life. Oh, yeah, we've got a mentality of a man saying, oh, she may just spend the money on the other kids. Or wait a minute, she may buy toilet paper with it. I mean, guys, do you not understand that when a mother or a parent is on their hands and knees caring for that child? I mean, right now, I got a child right now. He's decided he's going to pour salt on the table, okay? And guess who got to clean it up? Mommy cleans it up. But my time is worth something. I am valuable. A parent's time is valuable. And for anyone to say they're not even valuable and treated like garbage is domestic violence. You know, because I could be right now, you know, of course, making my millions. But again, they're using their money to destroy a mother and her children. So children are crying out in hopes that they can continue to make the world believe that I'm a loser, unstable, unfit and everything under the sun. When he knows that with my emergency nanny care company, I was on my way to being a multi-million dollar company, which was written in one of his books. 
But no, he had to crush me. What's the most important thing to me? My children. He knew it. So I went into a, like a dark cloud in a sense. All I did was fight for those babies. I couldn't focus on my company. I couldn't focus on going to that next level, which at that time I had 10 fine, uh, uh, lines that were blowing up. We had training going on. He knew how to take me down. So now I have loss of income out the wazoo because he wanted to continue his saga of abuse and his women that are hating on me and so jealous and want to continue to make my children believe that mom is a loser. When I was left homeless and he moved another woman in our home, he stopped paying uh, insurance on my car. He, he, he literally, when I tell you, I was sleeping in my car at a shop right in New Jersey and I get a ticket for no insurance and lose my license for a year. And then he makes excuses of that in court records stating, oh, she can't drive my kids. So she can't have my kids. They have messed with me for so very long. Trying to keep me on my face. And I have continued to fight. And now obviously I'm breaking my silence and pleading with the media to dig deep. Because this is an injustice. And we must pass laws to stop this abuse. We must stop everybody suffering. Because there is people suffering in silence. This is why we got people on welfare. This is why we got people homeless. We got kids suffering. Because we want to be greedy. We want to hurt people. What kind of mentality is this? It's so unhealthy. I have better time, things to do. Like changing lives. I love to watch when I, when I hold up a woman. And her children. And I have empowered them and I see her crying because God has touched her life by using me to touch her life. I do not understand how you can get joy out of harming anybody. America, break your silence. We must pass laws. We're asking Chris Cuomo. He's in. Uh, he's. Uh, he d- talks on politics. We're asking Cory Booker. Uh, we're asking all the senators jump on board. Let's get these laws passed. Every single state passing these laws for advocacy, changing all the way we look at child support, changing the way that we've got children out here. Most of these moms are not receiving a dime. And if they are, it's not even enough for child care. We've got suffering in America because we want to be greedy and we want children to go without. We have landlords stealing and there's no one coming in and looking at the property. We need advocacy groups. We need advocacy groups for all of these business owners, 1099 companies who are not treated fair, who's not paid fair, who is the hangman. We've got workers out there who are owed money because of GC is left as a hangman and didn't have enough money. And they got little children sitting at home who's asking for food, who needs a roof over the head at the same time. Who loses? The state. If we cannot pay into the labor insurance and we can't pay workers comp, we are hurting our country. Because that's money for the state. We got businesses going out of business because we got owners and they're filled with greed. We must change this country. Thanks, everybody, for joining our podcast today and our radio station is She's the Boss Radio. Guys, we're plowing through. We're going to fight until the laws are changed in this country and we see lives changed. Guys, call us. America, break your silence. 212-960-8290. America, break your silence. Let's be the change. Let's make the change happen. Mm-hmm.